Hello guys! So today we're going to talk about PHP variables. Okay, so let's try to know what is PHP variables. PHP variables are containers for storing data values. So we have here yung sample natin. Okay, wherein yung text variable will hold the value of hello PHP. Then yung x variable will hold the value of 5. And the y variable hold the value of 10.5. Okay, so what are the rules in creating variable? A variable can have a short name like X and Y, or a more descriptive name like age, first name, and last name. Rules for PHP variables. A variable starts with the dollar sign, followed by the name of the variable. A variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character. A variable name cannot start with a number. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. And a variable names are case sensitive. Small letter H and capital letter H are two different variables. Okay. Okay. How to declare a variable? PHP has no command for declaring a variable. It is created the moment you first assign a value to it. When you assign a text value to a variable, put quotes around the value. Okay? So we have here yung sample natin, wherein we declare a variable or define a name variable equals to text or a string of Raymond. Then yung variable age naman natin is having a value of 25. Okay, so that's how we define or declare a variable in PHP. Okay? Okay, so how to define the data type of a variable? PHP is a loosely typed language. PHP automatically converts the variable to the correct data type depending on its value. Okay, so kung meron tayong ganitong declaration wherein yung variable x equals to hello PHP and naka-quote siya, therefore, the data type of that variable will be string. Now, if the variable change its value to a number, katulad nito, which is 25, then the data type will change automatically into become an integer. Now, what if ito naman yung may value having a 10.90? So, yung PHP mag adjust ang kanyang data type to become float. Okay? So, that's how um, PHP works on the data type pagdating sa mga variable natin. It is because PHP is a loosely typed language. Okay? Okay, so how to display a variable? So the PHP echo statement is often used to output data to the screen. So we have here yung sample natin. So in this part of the code, we declare here yung text having a value of PHP. Now in this second line of code, we try to echo the variable. So basically the output will be PHP. Now, we have another example. So, again, yung declaration natin. Then, dito sa echo statement natin, meron ng kasamang text. Then, yung variable natin. So, pinagsabay na natin sila. Okay, so what do you think, guys, will be the output? So, the output will be amazing page B. Okay, so another example is this. Um, Halos the same, yung nandito. But, Try to notice, um, dito I use double quote, okay? While dito, I use single quote. So now the question is, what will be the output? 
Okay, so if your answer is amazing PHP, then you're wrong. Kasi yung magiging sagot ganito. Kasi there are difference pagdating sa double quote at saka yung single quote. Okay? So basically, the difference is ganito. The main difference between double quotes and single quotes is that by using double quotes, you can include variables directly within the string. And each variable will be replaced by its actual value. While on a single quote, you can use it when you want the string to be exactly as it is written. Okay? What if we still want you to use single quote but still yung variable ma-replace ng actual value? What's the solution for that? So basically, yung maging solution natin is using string operators, yung concatenation. Okay? We can join two or more values while using single quote. Okay? Parang ganito. We declare here yung variable natin, having a value of PHP. Then dito is the string. So I use single quote. Now, hindi natin iko quote yung variable natin. Instead, we use this operator. It is what we call the concatenation operator. Okay? So, if you do that, then our output will become like this. Okay? So, that's how we solve a problem if we want to parse the variable and we still want to use single code. Okay, guys? Okay, so I think that's it, guys. So, I hope you learned something new today, guys. And I hope it gives you a clear idea kung ano ba yung sinasabi nating PHP variables. So, basically, napag-aralan natin ngayon kung paano ba tayo magka-create ng variable. What are the rules behind creating a variable? Um, how to display variables, especially if we try to join it in some string, particularly sa mga single quote. Okay? So, those are the things, basically, that we have learned in this particular part of our series. So, okay. So, I think that's it. So, just like I always say, guys, just keep practicing and never stop learning. Thank you for watching, guys. And goodbye for now.